Hello and welcome to today's video, which is a little fish room tour of my current setup, which entails two 29 gallons stacked and a 75 show tank. And also the wife's cat, who literally meows all the time just to get in the room. So the first thing we're going to look at is the bottom 29, which is now serving as a, as a little grow out, um, just, for some, just for some odd fish, like this nice sunshine was really starting to colour it recently. Um, also just moved a deep water hap in there, um, an albino sunshine, another smaller sunshine, and also something that I, that I just got recently. Um, if you've got any ideas on what that is, just there, that really small one, let me know in the comments. I wanna, uh, I wanna see who knows. I just actually got that little dude today, um, but it was kind of muddled up on the on the name of him. I managed to figure out what he wore, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you know that one. Um, the top 29 is just my fluorescent breeding group. The male, if you follow me on Instagram, which is just sicklyscape, um, I absolutely love the male. He's awesome. Uh, does a really good job breeding in that little that little den I've given him there the majority of the time, uh, and he's just got three females with him. I have got two batches. From, from them at the minute uh, that I'm just growing out, which is gonna be in that bottom 29. Um, in this 29, I just run a simple AquaClear 70 filter and a normal aquarium heater, which is Aquion, I believe. Just thought I'd show you the fluorescent male again. Um, wife calls him Gannicus after the Spartacus TV show, if any of you watched that. Gannicus is an absolute ladies man, so that's why she calls him that. And these are his fry. Uh, that's the youngest batch there that we got from one of the females and then the one to the right is a little bit older but there's not much in them so I'm looking forward to growing them out. Obviously once they're big enough to come out of the breed and that um, with the fish in this bottom 29 they will then go over into the 75 which is currently a peacock and hap tank with the wife's blood parrot that she just can't get rid of. Um, and also an ACI and also that little rainbow shark you just see cruising around there so this is just a little look inside the 75 there's been a few changes since last time um, Tyron Reef's been getting bigger ACI is just a beast got this little dude maybe maybe two months ago but his colours are just cracking so so nice a uh, little five dollar fish there I believe is a fryer eye late bloomer um, Nice little bally eye, red shoulder who's starting to colour up nice, um, and a few others, including this really really nice German red, who's a who's a beast in himself. There he is, that little that little rainbow shark. Actually, no one bothers him, which is is really quite interesting. But there you go, there's the there's a the 75. This is just a quick look. I'm um, just all swimming around together. Don't really have too much issues with this tank. Um, I had a death in here in mm, probably close to about a year, a year and a half, which which is a little surprising. A lot of the times with African cichlids, because they, they can be really aggressive, um, but seem to have got the blend, the blend decent right now. Touch wood. So now I'm just going to run you through some of the equipment. This is my lighting, which is the current freshwater LEDs that I'll link in the description if, if you want to have a look at them. Uh, this lighting's absolutely immense. I've had it about two years. Um, I originally got it for the 40 gallon, now I use it for the 75 and it, it works so, so well. You get all sort of, sorts of different settings on it. Um, for proper modes that you can tail to, to what you want. Um, so like you could see there, I did like sunrise, um, really bright when I want to view the tank and take photos and then obviously like a nighttime light um, and the lights just really make the colours of the fish pop as you can see with, with that dude there. So filtration and just basic equipment on this tank. Um, I could play 50 just with polyfill and a few bio balls in. Aquion Pro Heater, this Sun Sun Wave Maker that really helps with surface agitation. Um, and also a Sun Sun 304B with the output really facing up to help as well. 
I've been really happy with this Samsung 304B since I've got it. Um, so if any of you are looking for a cheap canister filter, that's definitely the way to go. In terms of feeding, these are the three main products that I use. The sinking wafers, mainly for the fry, just so they can graze all day when, when I'm out. North Fin and also the Amiga One Super Flakes. And there's the cat. She doesn't really like the food, she just loves, loves watching the tanks. But there you have it, there's my uh, little fish room. 229 stacked and then the 75 African cichlid tank. Plus a blood parrot and a rainbow shark. But they all seem to be doing well. Here's just a little feeding of the guys in the 75. As you can see, they're, uh, they're always hungry. But it's always a good sign when, when they act like this, when you come in and feed them. It lets you know that they're, uh, that they're all healthy. You know, you've, you know you've got an issue on your hands when there's always one that's kind of at the bottom and stuff. So that's why it's always handy to have some general cure and uh, other products like that just around so you can use them if needs be. But luckily I haven't had to use anything like that uh, for a while now. In terms of water changes on this tank, I do about 35 to 40 gallons once a week. Um, and in the 229s I do Mm, about 15 gallons once a week uh, but I'm going to increase that with the fry to end this little tour I'm going to give you my top 3 fish at the minute this guy obviously lights out he's my 3 the little benger that's really starting to colour up in the bottom 29 grow out he's 2 and obviously that's the full vest that's my weakness um, and be sure to hit me up if you want to get any of uh, his fry once the eventually figure out who's going to be males, females, all that stuff. If you want a breeding group, I can set you up with that as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe to me both on YouTube and on Instagram if you can. Thanks.